On behalf of TVLesson.com, my name is Stan Hyman. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and relationship coach with Aventura Stress Relief in Miami, Florida. Let's talk today about avoiding a bad relationship. A very important subject, uh, avoiding a bad relationship, because this is one of those things that everybody wants to do. Everybody wants to avoid a bad relationship. So how do you do this? What I've discovered in my practice is doing this requires introspection, thinking about yourself first. So the first thing you want to do is look at yourself. And I'm going to give you seven ways of looking at yourself and thinking about yourself that's going to be helpful. Way number one, am I feeling needy? Do you feel as though without a person in your life you would become mentally and physically or emotionally impoverished? You can't live by yourself but you need somebody always in your life? That's point number one. Point number two, am I always trying to, are you always trying to make the other person happy at any cost, at the cost of your own relationship, of your own happiness that is? This is an important thing because getting in a bad relationship would mean that you're always trying to make somebody else happy. Number three, are you trying to change the other person? This is very important because if you don't like the person as they are, don't expect that you'll be able to change them. Number four, are you feeling needed, controlled, or loved? This is something that's very important because uh, does this person cherish you or want to consume you? Uh, are you interpreting that the need that he has to be with you is really uh, a love need or is it because he wants to keep you on a short leash? Number five, are you being yourself or are you really acting? Are you being somebody you think he wants you to be or are you being the person that you really are? Very important in avoiding a bad relationship. Number six, are you, looking, are you overlooking the obvious negatives? Uh, do you really care that he's a bigot or that he smokes? Well, if you do, then uh, that is something you really need to factor in. Number seven, and finally, are you too in love to see clearly? You know, when you fall in love with somebody, your brain changes. We know this uh, in terms of brain chemistry. So make sure that uh, this issue of love being blind does not exist. Uh, it is true that love is blind, but don't be, be blind in choosing the relationship. On behalf of TVLesson.com, I'm Stan Hyman, and thank you for watching.